nothing new But it's so good to see you We do this every day And I'm still so amazed by you We are two crazies from South Africa That is Frick and Pietru We decided to chuck everything and now we are living and sailing full-time on our new home, Sisu. We just got signal and it's like, I've got maybe 20 and how much do you have? Uh, I don't even have my phone. She, she has like 2,000 messages coming in. So we, we, we're listening to music and you cannot hear it now because we have copyright issues if we yeah. let you listen to that. But. The reason why we're not interested in watching the messages or looking or reading them is now we are at the barbecue. We're at the barbecue. Okay, <laughs> great. And we are. Beside, besides the lovely sunset, if you guys can see just between the sails, there's land. That is Antigua. The Caribbean, baby. We are in the Caribbean. Rum time, and we have my rum is over there. Pietro is having wine. But I'm gonna have rum just now. <laughs> After we bang this. Plymouth Harbor, Plymouth Harbor, Plymouth Harbor. This is Sisu, Sisu, Sisu. Over. This is the fourth time on Channel 16 we're trying. Just arriving in a new country, a new harbor approaching so we need to do the quarantine thing especially with COVID going on and we still got our yin yang black white <laughs> wing on wing yin yang flags that's what you call it sails <laughs> we're gonna sail. raise we're gonna raise the flags though so i'm referring to the sails as flags sorry we've got yin yang black or white Sails. The loopy is up. The loopy is normally up. We are approaching Antigua and we haven't used this windlass for what 3,000 miles or something like 21, 22 days. And it's still in its holder. When we used to go up, beating up when this used to go flying in here. Well, so sorry to this to disappoint you. I actually put it back into the holder. Oh, did it go? Up? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Ah, it's working. Up. It's yeah. running up. It is running up. Okay, perfect. perfect. It'll be good. So we can go anchor at peace. <laughs> yeah, and it's going to be at night. We don't want to suffer and having trouble at the anchor spot. Just look and at feel, that view. How nice it mean, feels. There's no saltiness. <laughs> I'm talking about Pietro, not the sunset. <laughs> So we came in last night in the dark. Um, it was after sunset, maybe an hour after sunset, but it was already dark, dark, dark. And look, look here behind me. It is all Antigua. A lot of boats on anchor. And I believe we should go somewhere there for um, customs after the health came. That one over there is the famous Riley. G'day mate, how you going? And of course Elena. And there is our friends. Having a quick bouncy trip next door to English Harbour where we need to go to clear in through customs and check in and do the health thing. So we've got all our paperwork sorted, we've got everything ready. All the officials, so and then we go free to move around. So it's Sunday today, so we're hoping that they will come and clear us in. But look at this!
and he doesn't even die. <laughs> we are in, in Freeman Bay now. Yep. We're gonna customs told us we can come to the dinghy dock and meet with a health inspector and customs officials so we can check in and it's Sunday which is so cool. English Harbour, look how cute. This is a old building that they've kept the outside the way it looked way back when and obviously just revamped the inside but look how gorgeous so we're halfway through the process of checking in and clearing and health officials and everything now we're gonna go to customs and immigration they are super helpful here and super friendly and we just haven't had any issues so we are now Doing that. It was pretty painless for all of the stuff. We had to fill in online, pre-online, and that was maybe the longest. And then came here and fill in yeah. another bunch the of forms. Guy. Yeah, the health guy at yeah, the dinghy dock guy. quickly sorted us out. No hassles. Yeah, took our temperature and look at our crew <laughs> temperature list. We had to have a crew temperature list. And it was here. Um, but first was customs, then immigration, then back to customs, then to the port authorities to pay for park fees. <laughs> yeah. They kind of like force you to come here and anchor here. And then they say, oh, since you're in a park, you need to pay park fees too. Yeah, so we are off to do what now? I think I need to find a beer because all of these guys, beer, yeah. they stress me out. There we go. So we're gonna go look for a beer. Just look at this awesome. But it's all like English. It's so awesome. yeah, look at it. It's like real old Admiral's English. Inn. Yes, the Admiral's Inn. Oh, a bar and restaurant. Look at that. Oh man, it's just so many history here. It looks like real English, eh? Real, like real English. Real. It's like old, old, old English. Yeah, look at this building. So home. So we are here at this fish and chips place and look at these guys. They, it smells amazing but I don't see any chips. <laughs> also no fish. <laughs> but it's apparently the best fish and chips place. So let's see. Look at this place, it's like really good. It is a lovely day, just check it out. Yesterday it was raining and everything and today less rain. We are getting ready to go out. So got all our stuffies here together. Oh, what is going on here? <laughs> You're going to have now breakfast on your own? Where's mine? Oh, where's yours? <laughs> da, 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 da. It is a momentous occasion. Voila. Oh. <laughs> our first homegrown tomato on Sisu. Oh my goodness. So it's ready for and the it eating. Broke, snap, crack, it snapped, snap, there. snapped or what? Yeah, so, um, <laughs> You've got the one tomato, you're going to have a breakfast. Yes, I'm going to eat it. Uh, oh. The salt and pepper and everything, just for that little tomato. Yes, look at it. Oh, look at that. Cut it open. Oh, it's nice. Oh, and it's nice and red, 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 looks red. juicy too. Mm, so let's taste it. Okay, let's see how it looks. It tastes just like a tomato. <laughs> Surprise. <laughs> So a sisu tomato grown by Pietro. When yeah. did you get the seeds? 
from tomatoes that we bought in Malta. Um, <laughs> so it comes all over from Malta, yeah, imported from Malta. Because the, the, the herb I had in that one pot was busy dying, so I thought I'll just put the pips in there um, rather than chucking it out. And it's true, Bob, there's a lot of tomato trees growing now. So, and they're actually carrying tomatoes. <laughs> <laughs> Look who's our neighbor. Love back a bond. And they're Utrum. So we're on our way to a reggae show and supper. And we're meeting up with friends. And they got us this taxi. Hello, Mike. Hey. Hello, guys. You're on YouTube, Spile. Oh. <laughs> so we're gonna Don't go up the mountain. So you be in the boat, but she trying to find somewhere that how she can enjoy, right? Mm. Like do like something that she likes. We are here. At Where is here? Shirley's height. Shirley's height. Yeah. Yo, this is a view, huh? Eh? Ah. Can you smell through there? <laughs> it smells like water. <laughs> P-E-T-R-O, -E six people. Petro. Petro, there we go. Okay. There you go. Thank you. You're welcome. I smell barbecue, bright. Look how cool, a remote saving yacht belonging to that monster cruising yacht. Who is it out there? There's two of them. Ah, look at it healing over. <laughs> oh wow. Race going. <laughs> what did I say when these two boats going in the same direction, in the same stretch of ocean? It's a race. You know, I'm here to stay every single day. Just us two. 